So, chainsaw sharpening 101. As you can see, I got this little beauty here. I picked up a couple of them. One for my 3 8 chain, and I've got a, I don't know, I got a uh, five, uh, 352, 032, one of those 32s over there on my still. <clears throat> Anywho, for me, these all in ones are fantastic because they incorporate the round file and the flat file for each direction. And if you come around the bar, coming this way remember you're always going to file into the uh the gullet or the or the c in the tooth you know the the the, the hook in the tooth you want to file into it but what's great about these is uh once you get your your arrows right and your uh your file right when you set your round file you set your round file on that tooth can you see that tooth there I think you can. If I move that out of the way, it hooks. I mean, it's right on your tooth. And if I bring this back up and you look, if you look at this hard plastic line in relation to your bar, right now I got the angle completely wrong. If I were to start sharpening, I would change the angle of the tooth. It would be a miserable sharpening. But if I were to rotate this like so, you can see this edge is perfectly in line or close enough for government work as I like to say with this chain and what's great about this all you have to do is maintain it level okay and as you push in the direction of the arrow only file in the direction of the arrow you're sharpening the tooth but also if required this flat file is riding on what they call a raker okay and if this raker is higher than the tooth it will file that raker down so it's just a little bit shorter than the tooth that's what happens to most chains is guys will file them by hand um, or even you know you take it down to your local hardware store they'll file it by hand but they'll neglect the raker you know they make separate gauges depth gauges where you can just set it over your chain and file those independently this it's all built into it you know all you have to do is keep the file flat apply moderate pressure not too much it really depends on how bad your saw is your chain is but the trick is is just to maintain that angle as you guide it through uh, you can either take it out and bring it back or you can just kind of turn it off to the side and be light about it. Um, so I'm going to attempt to make a few passes at real speed here without shutting the camera off again. Probably not going to be able to do that. Ah, I did. Sorry about that. All right, maybe it'll focus. There we go. So now I will attempt some kind of off my center here. Um, this is what a, uh, a pass would look like or sound like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, as I'm making that pass, I also, I'm kind of pushing into the tooth, but I'm also maintaining a slight, like clockwise rotation. So this file is staying flat on that raker so if needed it will uh, shave down the length now to do the other tooth you simply come around some guys can do this standing whatever come around of course you got the arrows on there so now you got this uh, you got this tooth here you simply uh, orientate your file it's lower obviously um, your arrows going in the right direction as you can see you simply set it, and I'll be able to file on this one a little bit better. Of course, I can't see it very well. I'm going to introduce my flashlight. Hopefully, this one will overexpose the video. So I can see the tooth. And it looks like this. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Seven. Oh, 
wicked sharp. It truly is. Um, and of course, without all this camera equipment and that, you're really going to get a nice feel for this, whether you want to use two hands on there back, you know. Just remember, file, and if you're not good at listening to the sound of your file when dragging back so you're not damaging your file, just when you get through with the cutting stroke, take it out, bring it back. Because you will damage the angle and damage the file all in one motion. So every, for every good pass you make, if you're dragging your file, you're undoing the good pass you just made. Some chains will be three strokes, some chains will be six strokes. It really depends on how old it is. Um, when I get down with the saw, I touch them up. Right when I'm done. Uh, that way it's only a, a couple of passes. This is a brand new chain. I only, I only cut down, I took off probably a 20 foot limb, about 10 inches diameter, and uh, just limbed it. Did a little bit of bucking on that limb. It was a big old limb. Um, so I didn't get much use, but I found the factory edges uh, are much improved uh, when you use a uh, a file like this. I mean, the, the saw shavings you get are, are pretty good. So anywho, you can, I mean, they I know they sell these at Ace Hardware. You can get them on Amazon Prime. I actually bought this from a company online. Uh, boy, I wish I could... Uh, I wish I could tell you the name, but I just don't know it off the top of my head. Anywho, great little tool for sharpening your chains. Thanks for watching.